What's up you guys? Welcome to Ben Travels TV. What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to Ben Travels TV and coming up next on our final episode part 3 we give you guys a full driving tour of Anna Maria Island, Florida. You guys gotta stay tuned. <laughs> Alright you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell so you get notified every time we drop a new video. Alright, so this is episode number three of three. We've already done two previous episodes here in Anna Maria Island, and this is the third installment, the last installment. On this one, we're going to give you guys a complete driving tour of Anna Maria Island. Alright, so Anna Maria Island, just a little history here. It was part of the Safety Harbor cultural area for many centuries before the arrival of Europeans in Florida, both the Navarres expedition in 1527 and the Hernando de Soto expedition in 1539, entered the mouth of Tampa Bay, north of Anna Maria Island, passing by to make their landfall on the mainland. All right, so Anna Maria Island was first settled in the mid 19th century by Confederate Deputy Marshal and Tampa Mayor Madison Post, who then named the island for his wife, Maria, and his sister-in-law, Anna, as Cuban fishermen were the first visitors to the island at the southern mouth of Tampa Bay. The settlement was very soon dominated by nautical types. All right, so as we know, the indigenous inhabited this land, these lands throughout the Americas and Florida since the beginning of time all right so it was never just discovered it was just that people from europe and uh, explorers from europe came and found it all right but it has been known for since the beginning of time by a lot of people just do your research do your history this is very well known but all right you guys so anna maria island i did the first episode we were at manatee beach and the second episode we went down to bradenton beach this is all on anna maria island and Anna Maria Island today is divided into three cities. You have Anna Maria in the north, Holmes Beach in the middle, and Bradenton Beach in the south. In 2005, the United States Census Bureau estimated the combined population of the three cities at approximately 8,500 people. All right, so that's not that many. Okay, and the median sales price, okay, as of March 2024, was 2.8 million dollars on average all right that's up 40 percent compared to the previous year all right and what you'll find is that there are a lot of short-term rentals here and vacation homes and pretty much retirees so as a floridian if you want to visit you can do a staycation get an airbnb if you want to just make the drive it's not that far from where i am in tampa about an hour 15 minutes hour 20 minutes we got here early in the morning, as you see, we're exploring the entire island throughout the entire day. All right, that's an option. Or if you're visiting, you want to see multiple cities throughout Florida when you're on vacation, you can get an Airbnb here for a few days and then go to the next stop. All right, so plenty of options. 
It's very easy to navigate around if it's not too busy. Definitely not in the peak season, I would say, which is March and April. It's pro you're probably going to run into a lot of traffic in these areas. But this video, like I told you, was shot in October of 2023, and the weather was absolutely beautiful. All right, you guys, I am going to show you guys a driving tour on just Anna Maria. We're not going to go to Bradenton Beach. We're not going to go to Holmes Beach. We're just going to be in Anna Maria. And where we're at now is the Anna Maria Island City Pier. And we're also going to head over to Bayfront Park, which has picnic tables, a grassy area as well, and really good access to the beach. So you can go fishing, go boating, just bike riding. There are tons of activities for you to do here on Anna Maria Island. All right. So what I'm going to do is park. And I'm going to show you guys what how easy the access is to the beach. All right. It is a very quiet, quaint and peaceful area on Anna Maria Island. And so far, it's my favorite in Florida. How's it going? Yeah, how are you doing? Okay,
All right, you guys. So as we were cruising around, as you can see, it's very relaxed. Lots of families, lots of couples, and it doesn't have a rowdy type of South Beach feel, right? You guys see my videos on South Beach and you can see how it gets down there. It gets pretty crazy. Even Clearwater Beach can get pretty crazy, definitely during the spring break peak season, which is usually, I would say, around February to April, and then it kind of slows down a little bit. But if you're looking for just a relaxed environment and you're just looking to enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the water, and not the huge crowds, I definitely recommend Anna Maria Island. And this is not, like I always say, it's not a promo. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just giving you my opinion, my honest opinion. This is definitely one of my favorite places to visit throughout Florida. I have a lot of favorites. This is definitely one of them. All right. But anyways, you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to finish this driving tour actually headed out of Anna Maria Island. We're going to go back over the bridge to Bradenton and we're going to head back to Tampa. Thank you guys for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe if you love it. And if you love the content, I definitely want you to be a subscriber so you don't miss out on the content that we have to come down the pipeline. All right. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the messages. Thanks for all the love you guys showed on this channel, Ben Travels TV. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out.